Asia and the Pacific has achieved remarkable economic progress, which has brought along increased mobility for the region's people. But there are drawbacks to this rapid progress, including increased greenhouse gas emissions, air pollution, traffic congestion, and road accidents. If Asia and the Pacific is to meet the Sustainable Development Goals, we must transform the transport sector into an economically, socially, and environmentally sustainable system. The United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific is committed to helping member states achieve exactly this goal by creating a transport system that serves the people and planet for prosperity. Low-Carbon Transport and Smart Transport Solutions The transport sector is one of the leading contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, pollution, and a major consumer of fossil fuels. We must find a way to balance the demands of freight and mobility while also reducing the sector's significant carbon footprint. Potential solutions include transitioning to clean and energy-efficient technology and electric mobility, adopting smart transport systems, decarbonizing regional transport networks, and encouraging sustainable transport alternatives. We also need to ensure that transport systems meet other sustainable development objectives, such as gender equality, inclusivity, accessibility, and safety. Urban transport. It is estimated that by 2050, 68% of the world's population will live in urban areas and much of that growth will take place in Asia and the Pacific. The region has undergone rapid urbanization in the recent decades. An estimated 2.3 billion people now live in cities. But this has brought unprecedented challenges. In order to create a low-carbon urban environment, cities and countries need to develop integrated urban and transport plans to encourage a green and healthy urban transport environment. Countries and cities can utilize the ESCAP Sustainable Urban Transport Index SUTI, to assess the existing state of urban mobility and use the result to enhance overall sustainability of urban mobility. Safe and Inclusive Transport in our region, one person dies in a road crash every 38 seconds. 60% of global road crash fatalities occur in the Asia-Pacific region, and the number keeps increasing. Pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists are the most vulnerable and make up more than half of all road deaths. To reduce this shocking outcome, holistic strategies and actions need to be taken. ESCAP supports its member states to progress toward this goal by supporting the second decade of action for road safety 2021 to 2030 with the objective of cutting by half the number of road traffic deaths and injuries by 2030. A related global plan of action was launched on 28 of October 2021 and this serves as a basis for ESCAP's Asia-Pacific Regional Plan of Action to help achieve this goal. As the Asia-Pacific region grows, we need to create a sustainable, inclusive, and safe transport system so that all people and goods can move about safely, affordably, and seamlessly.